Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we are back with yet another walk around, thanks to my good friends at Copart in Indianapolis, Indiana. Got a better friend right here, Randy. Auto Auction Rebuilds, go follow him. He has some really, really great content coming up on some really cool cars. And we got that drive back, so yeah, so take a look at that. We have two cars we're gonna show you. As you know, I'm kind of considering something to tow with. Randy was kind enough to give me a truck. Oh, don't show. <laughs> I almost feel bad about it. <laughs> Your subscribers we, are the ones that decided. To, they decided to my it. fate, and apparently they don't like me. No, it's a cool truck. It's sure. going to be great content, and it's yes. going to lead the channel in another direction. We're adding something to the channel that's going to blow up. I mean, I think it's really going to be funny. Yes? Yes, because yes. what we found in the truck has led us to think about how we can investigate the history of cars and trucks. Yes. It's going to be cool. To your channel. A whole new world. Be the only one doing it. Yes. Just oh. yours. Your idea. Your brainchild. Until someone steals it that has more followers. Me. There you go. Yeah. That'll, that'll work. <laughs> All right. Let's check out a really cool pickup truck. You might like it. You might hate it. But it is expensive. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? Right, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was going to be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm Let's in the car. All right, we're going to start off with a 2021 Jeep pick-em up truck. The Gladiator. What do you think about these? I was in, in a parade in this when it first came out. Yeah. And the retail price, I want to say it was like eighty or ninety thousand dollars. It was like for this? For a yeah. A Jeep? When they first came out, it oh, was no, loaded with everything no. and we were in a parade no. and it was way too much money. And I was thinking, who is gonna buy these things? But I see them out there a lot now. Well they're not eighty thousand dollars. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. But this was when they were first new. You know, blah, 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 and this one was loaded. Um, well, you know, these have been around forever. I think in the 50s, they had Gladiators. They had a pickup truck version of the Jeep. Yeah. I don't remember if it was the 50s or, or when or the 40s. I don't remember, but they yeah. did have a pickup version. But I do remember when these came out, I, I absolutely hated them. And anyone that would drive one, I, and no offense to your followers, but I hated right. everybody that drove one of these because I thought, oh. ugh. Yeah. But today... I don't, I don't understand why, but I'm looking at it and like, I really, I see the utilitarian value in it today. Okay. I do, because a Jeep is a utility vehicle. I mean, it's a, it's the ultimate, like, go anywhere, do anything type of vehicle. And why are the, they so expensive? And the ultimate, you know what that is? That's what all Jeep people do. I've had oh, them. Oh. Everywhere they... you drive, it's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you have a bed on top of the utilitarian aspect of the, of the Jeep itself, a bed for hauling things. Mm-hmm. But you lose all that space you would have had in the back of in your, the back of your Jeep for keeping things dry. And it's not a huge bed. And you can't really tow much with it. Yeah. So. And I don't think there's a whole lot of design to it. They just took a Jeep and put a box on the back of it. <laughs> they did. That's all they did. But look. You can tow. Four there's your lights. And yeah. A seven pin. And a backup camera. What more do you need, man? This is what. It's most probably locked. Yeah. This is what you need right here. This is it. I just. This is it. They're. I just. You like them. I. I just haven't come around to that way of thinking yet. But. They're all right. I don't know how much they are anymore. But when I saw the price of the one that uh, Clint, the weatherman, and I rode in for the Christmas parade, it was crazy money. These are like forty-five. Oh. Four thirty-nine to forty-five. For really? Me. Yeah. This is just a stick shift. It's. It's. Not leather. This is yeah. a base model. This is as low as you can get. Well, this is probably like 38. I now we're 38. that's that's more acceptable then. Much more acceptable. And I, I see lights. Jeep for five grand. It's so, a cool Jeep. You're gonna have to go check that out on his channel. It's uh he just had it delivered. But it's it's gonna be fun to drive home, I will tell you that. Okay, so we have an airbag blown. It is a manual. It is push start. Is there I don't know what that is. Is there? Is there money? Key fob not detected. Are you kidding? They didn't give the key fob with the vehicle. I don't have any key fob. I bet they didn't. We're supposed to have a key fob. 
Well, this one is not a run and drive, is it? It doesn't say run and drive. I don't have there. a D. I don't uh, see a D uh, up there. Nothing. Well, why would a 2021 B not run and drive? I bet it runs. When it looks I, like this. But after they, the accident, they kept the key. They kept it. They didn't give the key. Wow. Okay. No, uh, no there's nothing in here. We're not, uh, this is video is starting out great. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. That sucks. What's, what's the use of... <sighs> well, you can still open the hood. <laughs> we can look at it. it. Yeah. Well, there is some room back here. I didn't know these were back here. Oh. I didn't know there Oh, that's nice. There's your your airbag there if you want it. Okay. Your jack. Whatever that is. Oh, that's for removing your doors. Oh, and okay. You, and your roof and everything. All the little bolts, they go in go there. Go in here. They show you where they all go. Yeah. Oh, that's a great yeah, idea. All Jeeps have those. They're really cool. And there's the airbag. Okay. Nice. Look how clean and nice it is. I wonder how many miles it's got. Doesn't look like too many. No. Up here, as far as damage. It doesn't look that bad up here. No. Uh -uh. Down here, things look a little sketchy. Yeah. Those are all just replaceable parts. Yeah. Unless the frame rail comes out right here. I bet the yeah. frame rail, because your frame hooks are like, there's one. I don't know where the other one went. <laughs> oh, right there. That's what the frame hook should look like. Yeah. And so that's this frame rail is just, it is hardcore twisted. Yeah. I'll bet this frame extension, I'll bet that's almost a 45 degree angle. Yeah. If you could get. I wonder if it's a bolt on for oh, it yeah. underneath the. Mm, I don't know. Boy, it, there's your frame rail. You can yeah, see it. Yeah, you can see it bent right yeah, there. It's, it's, that's serious. That's pretty bad. 2021 Jeep Patriot possible tow vehicle or. Should I be rolling in a Suburban? Let's check that out. Now for your viewing pleasure, 2008 Chevy Suburbolo. No, Randy's laughing. <laughs> You're close, Mike. It's a Suburban. Randy, I, did I call this a Patriot? You did. I did? You did. That, see, that's the Alzheimer's kicking in already. It's not Alzheimer's, you're tired it's, from being on the road for I don't know what it is. I have my brain power. I'm down to like four brain cells. I really, I, there's some, I just, my memory is just not there. It's not, and it scares me, so. You take some old man pills. There's I need. Centrum for people over 50. What does Joe Rogan recommend? What's that stuff that he sells? Uh, I, I would never I don't take know. it, you but need to be yeah. looking at Alex Jones, though. He sells the good stuff. Oh, he sells it well, and he needs the money now that he has a <laughs> billion dollar settlement. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. This is something I've always wanted as well. I mean, I, I, we had that. Remember the Escalade that we found? That's what you need. The You're Escalade not was a nice. Basic Chevy guy. You need a Corvette. A Corvette. Or you need a Escalade. Yeah. And if you want a Ford, then you need a Navigator. That's who you are. You're an upper class kind of guy. I think you're calling me bougie. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're not gaudy, though. Thank but this you. is nice, though. It's got the chrome wheels. It's got the yeah. huge, huge back. So it's bigger than a regular Suburban, right? It's longer. Well, it's an LTZ. So yeah. It's loaded. I don't think there's going to be power. Oh, someone was checking the gasoline. Was that you already? No. Checking out the gas? No. Oh. Well, someone took a... Why would they take this off? Oh. Oh. That's the body shop that did that. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's already broke. Yeah. Oh, golly. Wow. Okay. Well, damage is right here. <laughs> yeah. Is it serious? We'll put a fender, maybe a door on it. You need a bumper. You need a headlight. But other than that, I don't think there's very much more to fix. Maybe if we put some power to it, this would go back in. This would inflate. <clears throat> I'm kidding. I'm kidding with that right there. But this would tow a house. This would tow anything you asked it to tow. And I could put all kinds of kids and soccer kids. balls in the back. I don't have kids. kids. I don't have soccer balls. You have kids, Mike? No, I'm and done. It won't do everything you want it to I'm do. Done. You want it to be reliable, right? It's yeah. heavy. It won't do that. Well, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wizard, Car Wizard says these have the really, really, really. Wow, it just kind of sits there, doesn't it? Weezerd! Weezerd! Yeah, with the um, 
the flaps under here, what are they called? The accumulators or something that directs the airflow. They're the cheapest ever and they break all the time. Oh, you're talking about the... Uh, the, the actuators. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, accumulator, actuator, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is setting in. She, oh, someone has been through here and they're taking all this stuff out. This is miss, okay, this is broken. Let's just take that out. Let's take all it. Oh, you got lots of parts in the back. I got a bait. I got like a, a smoke. Oh, please. Yeah. Maverick. Okay. Maverick. Blend door actuator. I got a bait. Uh, okay. What is, oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, you cool. know, I love my little mermaid. I know you do, Mike. <laughs> Saw you watching it last yeah. night after Blossom. Wow. Okay. This is worn out. Yeah, they do. All of That's them are like crazy. that. That's crazy. Okay. And this. But okay, so you can just really buy the airbag and then Careful. put this back on top. What? You, I'm worried you're going to slice your hands open up no, there. No, I'm not touching the glass. It's just yeah, okay. yeah. You can replace the airbag separately, which yeah. is nice. And someone has already tried to. There's no power. You want me to hook up a? Oh, and there's an aftermarket no. switch. Did you see that? Oh, really? So you don't steal it? I don't know what that goes to. That okay. sounds like a serious switch, yeah. though. This is too much. This is way too much. You think? I think it's got frame damage. Yeah. I do. I think I think that's why they because the <clears throat> shop was already starting on it. Mm -hmm. And then somewhere along the line they pulled the plug and quit the insurance. They company. found something. No. Yeah. Okay. That's a great sound. Yeah. That's lovely. Okay, so the Chevy Suburbolo is a no. It's a no go. Look, did you see this? What's up here? See the oh, massive 175 amp. Fuse? Jeez. A hundred and seventy. Does it go back to that switch that you had? I'll bet it does. I'll bet it does. That's for like a serious system. Did we ever see what was in the back? Uh-uh. There was just there's a baby car seat and some car pieces in the back. So it had it had a ginormous system in it, and they took it out. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so they took all the good stuff out yeah, they, of this, and then just yeah. left the shell. All right, well, let's move on. Yeah. Randy's going to hurt himself closing the hood of the Suburbolo. There it is. All right. We want to say thank you to everybody here at Copart for letting us come out here in Indianapolis. The rain has stopped. The birds are flying. It's going to be a good day here. It's not that chilly. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Now that the rain has stopped, we're going to do some videos on Randy's channel. So you want to go check those out as well. I want to say thanks to Randy at AARHQ North middle and south locations you got three offices i do, I do. <laughs> going worldwide next worldwide baby he's gonna franchise have a great day everybody we're back with another video very very soon we'll see you bye